How are you today? Fabulous. Great, okay. Well, I don't know what you guys want from me today, but I'm gonna be giving you a tour of my gym bag and what exactly I hold in my gym bag because this is gonna be just as much news to you as it is to me. Shockingly, my gym bag is 0% organized. Organized. Don't know what's gonna be in there. So this is very, <laughs> this will be very interesting. I've had this same bag for like a year and a half, maybe going on two years. And I can't say I have once cleaned it out, but I will be touching on the few items that I actually do utilize in my gym bag and the ones that I do recommend. If you guys like what you see, please make sure to like and subscribe. And now let's get in with the video. Just for starts, I use this duffel bag. It's just a knifey. It's pretty freaking big. I'm gonna have everything linked below that I can find. Here it is next to me. I guess me holding it would probably be helpful, wouldn't it? Here's my gym bag. So what I look like when I go into the gym. The reason I got such a large one is because I have a barbell pad and I wanted the barbell pad to fit in it entirely. So that's why it's so long. I wanted just black because I love black. If you're not new here, you know this. And I just wanted something that would go with everything. And my gym is kind of annoying sometimes about letting you carry bags around. I think you're gonna steal your weights and stuff, but I still bring mine anyways. I don't know, let's say something about me as a person. But start with this side zipper here. Absolutely nothing. Oh, no, 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 no. I have this lock. As I was just talking about, my gym likes to every once in a while throw a fit about bringing gym bags on the floor. I got this lock to subdue them for a little bit. I put my gym bag in one of the lockers. I just got this from Amazon, it was super cheap. I'll, I'll link it, it worked well, but I just put this in the locker, you know, my gym bag to subdue them for a bit. And then once, you know, the waters are more calm, I now once again bring my gym bag out on the floor. <laughs> So that's what that's for. I'm already noticing how not organized I am because that's all I have in that pocket. Are you serious? And just to note, this pocket's really deep because you can use it to store like dirty clothes and stuff like that if you wanna keep your dirty clothes separate from everything else. They have this pocket on the side, which I apparently just use for a key. But we're gonna proceed with the main pocket. This is where it gets interesting. I'm worried. First thing, I actually utilize this. This is my barbell pad I use. I got it off Amazon. It's a bare barbell pad. I think I got it because Whitney liked it. I use this basically only for hip thrust so the bar doesn't kill my hips. So you just put this on the bar and it's a nice cushioning. So that's why I got such a big bag because this is quite large. It literally goes like the whole length of it. So this is my barbell pad. This is one of the items I actually do use. The next item I've never used is this belt. My sister gave it to me, she didn't want it. She gave me a pink Harbinger belt. Can't tell you anything about it. For some reason, I like to pretend like I'm bad arse and I squat and deadlift without a belt. But I'm sure this would be, you know, perfectly fine. Let's, let's see if it fits. I'm doing really well. Here it is. It just goes like that. It's a zip lock, <laughs> a Velcro tighten it however you want. There it is. Maybe I should use this sometime. I don't know why I'm so against it. I think it's cause it's pink, but I'll actually, maybe I'll try to use this. Everything I buy, it's like they don't have any packages. So everything just like floats around. So it's like, I have straps and there's one strap over here, one strap over there. I have ankle brace, whatever. One over here, one over there. Everything is separated because I don't individually package things. I just throw them in there. What's wrong with me? I'm a perfectionist, but not organizationally in my gym bag, apparently. <laughs> apparently. The next thing I'm gonna show you guys, what even is this? Cool. What is this? Okay, I remember. I bought these because I was getting really bad wrist pain. So I bought these wrist straps to help support them. Never used them, but I got them off Amazon. If you feel like, you know, your wrists are too weak. I've been there. You can get wrist straps to help with that. So you just put it around your wrist and then tighten it up even more. Gives you some support. So these are from Amazon. If you're looking for some, I'll link them. I probably used them once. And then I guess my wrists miraculously resolved themselves. So there's that. I got this nice little, see, just like packaging. This is just like something from a package. I just throw it in there. This is for the Gym Reapers lifting straps. These are actually Matt straps. Matt doesn't have a gym bag. He just kind of throws his crap in mine. And by his crap, I mean these gym straps and that's about it. He loves these. He's 
deadlifting is his favorite lift and his heaviest lift. So his grip strength isn't the strongest. So he uses straps to help with heavier deadlifts. And these are from Amazon. They are rip toned straps. And then this is the other item that I actually use once a week, maybe. I literally use it for one exercise. I don't even know what it would be called, like a sissy squat. And I use this band. I got it from my sister. It is quite heavy resistance and it's from Suzy B Fitness. There's so many different uh, fabric bands on the market. Get whatever one you want, whatever one looks the best to you and what, whoever you want to support. I definitely think this is a staple and everyone should have one because they really add extra layer of complexity and difficulty to workouts. Definitely recommend a fabric band. I am the actual worst. What is in here? I actually have a second band cause I don't, I'm not crazy about pink. So I got a black one and this is from core for core fitness and it's just a black band. So don't really have anything to say on that, but this is just a black one I got off Amazon. The next thing I have in my bag, super useful, really just, it's <laughs> this old lip roller here. Get a good look, really get a good look at that. There is nothing left on it. Maybe one sheet left, one sheet left of stickiness. But you know, you just never know when you're gonna pinch and need a lint roller. For real though, lint rollers are my thing. I have one in my car, I have one in the bathroom, and I apparently have one in my gym bag because I'm a crazy cat person and I always have Toby hair on me. If you also are a crazy cat person, I recommend putting a lint roller in your gym bag, but maybe a little bit more usable of a lint roller. The next thing, I thought Matt returned these. Oh, Courtney gave me these. Okay, so my sister also gave me these because she didn't want them. They are VersaGrips lifting straps. These apparently have really good reviews. Once again, they're for lifts like deadlift when your grip strength isn't the best. And I just don't like straps because they're a pain in the butt to get situated in my opinion. But I believe what you would do is yeah, I don't know. Basically, this is a good brand. I know I've heard good things about VersaGrips and this is the pro ones. So I have these in there in case I ever feel like using them. The next thing I have are these Omoose Fitness ankle straps. And I did use these a few times. I should use these more, but these are good for things like ankle kickbacks. So, you know, you see the girls kicking their little doodahs or legs back for their glutes or to the sides with the cable machine. This makes it easier. You just strap it around your ankle. Literally, you just, you link it through here. <laughs> oh, you link it through here. So you put on your ankles. You just tighten it as far as you want. Okay. Did you get that demo? And then you have two hooks that you link the cable machine to. And then you can have the cable on your foot and you can push your leg with the weights wherever you want to. So I hope that was a really helpful demonstration. But. Ankle straps are really good for things like cable kickbacks and different kind of leg accessories you wanna do at the cable machine. The next thing I have is this super helpful rip toned package with nothing in it, which means one of these other things I've already shown you belongs to this package. So that's really helpful. I got another little package, just some plastic in case, you know. I have a button for something that would never go to anything fitness related. None of my fitness clothes have this button, but one day if I just feel like adding a little bit of an accessory to my gym clothes, I could just use a string of hair and sew this to my pants or something like that. So I have that in there, that's super helpful. And then another thing, <laughs> I have these really old socks, which look dirty in my gym bag. I don't know how these got there. Honestly, I would recommend keeping socks in your gym bag though on the reel because you know, you never know if you're coming home from work, you don't have appropriate socks for the gym, have them in your gym bag and you'll always be good to go. But I have these, you know, the idea is there and it's the thought that counts. Another thing I have in here is a pad. <laughs> This is another thing I would recommend having your gym bag on the reel though, because you never know when it's gonna be the time of the month. So if you use a tampon, if you use a diaper like me, if you use a cup, whatever your feminine hygiene product of choice, you should keep in your gym bag because you never know. So I have one of these. I also have a bra cup. 
I swear none of this is staged. This is just stuff I have in my gym bag. I didn't plan anything in here. I have a bra cup. I don't know how this got in there, but you know, I could find a use for it. You know, say one day you bring your gym clothes with you after work and you're going to the gym and you didn't check to make sure your bra was fully functional. Well, if a cup's missing, guess what? You have one in your gym bag. I could find a use for it. I don't know why this is in here. I don't know, but I'm gonna keep it because you know, the reason I just said, you never know if I'm gonna show up at the gym and one of my bra pads is missing. So I have a bra pad. I think these are more straps. Yes, these are more straps. Matt thought he lost his straps and he bought another pair of straps for deadlifts, but I just found his first pair of straps. That goes to show how unorganized my gym bag is. We just lose things that are sitting in there. <laughs> so I have another pair of these Gym Reapers straps. I don't know what to say. I'm sorry, Matt, but I found your straps for new. you. Now you have a second pair for when you lose the first one. Another pad, you know? You gotta have multiples. And then another pair of old socks. You never know, okay? And then, some accessories, you know, if you're in a gym and maybe the cable machine is loose, it's not working. Screws to help. <laughs> I don't know what this is, I don't know. But the fact that I held onto it makes me feel like I shouldn't get rid of it. I don't know what this is, guys, I honestly don't. And this is a mess. But I have this bag of just miscellaneous nuts and bolts. And then I have two masks, you never know. I have a KN95 and then I just have a cloth mask. It depends on your feelings for the day. Masks, I would recommend keeping masks in your gym. You never know when a mask mandate's just gonna pop up, so keep that. Another thing, an <laughs> another button. Perfect, now I can have like two buttons on my pants. So it makes it look a little bit more balanced and intentional. Another button. I've been looking for this forever. I had no idea where my umbrella was, but it's in my gym bag. I'm happy I found this. <laughs> Pro tip, I keep this in my car, but I haven't had an umbrella in my car. Well, really I did, but it was in the trunk of my car in my gym bag. I recommend having an umbrella in your car somewhere, so in case you need it, you can put it in your gym bag. Umbrella. The last item in this main pocket is my jump rope, which I do use quite regularly. It is the Wad Nation jump rope. Also got it from Amazonium. It's just a jumbled jump rope, but I do like it. It's a thin rope. I use this to try to burn a few more cows. And of course, I keep it in my gym bag. And now we are approaching the inside zipper of my gym bag. And this, I don't know what's gonna be in here. Just to show you guys an overview. This is what I pulled out. Okay, now we're gonna dissect this. First, another mask, another mask, another mask, a fourth mask. You just never know how many masks you're gonna need. So I have six in my gym bag. And I'm gonna put all of them in the same pocket because that would make too much sense. The next thing I have is a one day pass from my gym, which I never pass out because I have no friends. And then it came with this underdog car meets and merch advertisement. So there's that. And then I actually do recommend this. I have some lotion. I have very dry hands, dry and calloused and gross hands. So, you know, if you got done with your gym session, your hands are feeling a little bit tangy, lotion in your gym bag right when you need it. Another thing I recommend, I just have these, actually these aren't even mine. These are mats, but my statement is the same. These are just regular headphones that plug into your phone. I recommend having these in addition, of course, to Bluetooth headphones, just in case your Bluetooth headphones die, you wanna have a backup because the worst thing in the world is showing up at the gym with no working headphones. I recommend having just a pair of headphones that plug into your phone when you forget to charge your Bluetooth headphones. On the topic of Bluetooth headphones, I have some headphone inserts for my old Beats headphones that I no longer use since I got AirPods. <laughs> Super helpful to me. So there's that pocket. That's not too bad, not too bad. And then the last pocket, this outside one. I got some chapstick. You always need to have chapstick. This is another thing that I actually do use regularly. Lots of times my lips are chapped on the way to the gym. Well, I have chapstick in my bag. I just recommend keeping chapstick wherever you're gonna be. You know, have one in your purse, have one in your car, have one in your gym bag, cause you never know. The final two things I have are these old Beats headphones, Bluetooth. 
as well as my AirPods, the best things to ever exist. I'm obsessed with my AirPods. I've already mentioned them before. These are like the best things ever, highly recommend. These are the AirPods Pro. And the sound cancellation feature is like none other. It's like I can't hear the crappy EDM music playing in my gym and it is incredible. These are the best workout headphones ever, but I do have my Beats headphones in my gym bag as well. These are what I used before the AirPods, just in case my first pair of wireless headphones are not charged. I have my backup pair of Bluetooth headphones. And then if those are also not charged, Charged, I have my regular headphones that plug into the phone. So you just need to have backup on backup on backup for headphones. Moral of the story. I'm gonna throw in there. I don't keep it in my gym bag, which I should when I'm walking around. I just carry this separately. This is my water bottle. This is a, honestly, this is my mom's I stole. Don't know what brand it is. I'm sure it's on Amazon, but definitely just, you wanna have a good, nice water bottle that's refillable that you can keep with you, carry with you wherever you go. I also have a thermo flask, which is basically a knockoff hydro flask and I love it. So you guys, that was my mess of a gym bag <laughs> haul. Honestly, I'm as shocked as you are. Don't take this at face value. This is not who I am as a person. I'm generally very organized, got highest honors at Georgia Tech. I value being on top of things. I value getting things done. I don't know where the dis disconnect is, but I don't keep my gym bag organized and I need to work on that. So this was the first step. Now that I've emptied everything out, I can put it in my bag in a way that makes sense. <laughs> I know this wasn't the most helpful video, but I'm gonna have everything I spoke about that I can find linked below. And then if you guys are interested in a video of me actually talking about things I recommend taking to the gym or anything gym related, let me know in the comments below and I'll do a more serious gym video for you. But I just thought this would be funny. And there's a few gems in there that I actually do highly recommend keeping in your gym bag. Thank you guys so much for watching this. If you liked what you saw, please make sure to like and subscribe. I upload videos on every Wednesday at 11 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, so you guys know where to find me. Let me know what you wanna see in the comments below. That'd be super helpful for me and I will see you guys next Wednesday. Peace out. Bye haters. Peace.